Joshua chapter 20. <clears throat> and the Lord also spake unto Joshua, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, Appoint out for you cities of refuge, whereof I spake unto you by the hand of Moses, that the slayer that killeth any person unaware, unwittingly, may flee thither. Now this in the law of our law is called accident, accidental killing. Now this is not homicide. Now my understanding of homicide is you killed somebody but you were doing something illegal when you did it. Homicide would be, I would believe, by what I read, it, you get drunk, you go out and you kill somebody in a car. It also could be homicide is you're using something illegally, wrongfully, to cause a death. Here it's accidental. There was no purpose, there was no thought. You're doing something normal, and the abnormal happens. And they shall be your refuge for the avenger of blood. And that's the gentleman whose family member, whose loved one, whose friend is dead. Anger, upset, wanting to get revenge on a situation that does not need revenge. And when he does flee into one of these those cities, and there's six of them in total, when he that does fled into one of those cities shall stand at the entering the gate of the city, comes to the end, and that's where all the elders met, that's where all, all the important people met. The only way to get into these walled cities would be through the gate, through the people in importance. That's where they would have their judgments throughout the Bible. And shall declare his clause in the ears of the elders of the city. Hi, I'm Reuben. I was out there cutting wood with my friend James. And I cut the tree down. The tree fell. And it fell on James. I, I, James and I have been buddy for our whole life. I never hated him. I, I still can't believe what happened. They shall take him into the city unto them and give him a place that he may dwell among them. It's a city, not a prison. He would have all resources of that city that he runs to. Now, he can't go run to another city. Oh, I don't like this one. I'm going to go run to the other one. No. Once he goes into one particular city of refuge and he is found, you know what? It is not his fault. It is not murder. You're to stay here in this city. He can't leave. If he does, there'll be trouble. And if the avenger of blood pursue after him, then they shall not deliver the slayer up into his hand. Listen, that guy killed my friend. That guy killed my, my husband. That guy killed my brother. That guy killed my father. Get him out here. No, no, listen. You need to calm down. We've judged the situation. And we find it, you know, it's completely accidental. And it's a cooling off time. It's a time to, you know, give thought. They should not deliver the slayer up into his hand. Because he smote his neighbor unwittingly and hated him not before time. And notice that hatred comes back up. And we've seen it in the law. And John says in his epistle, a man that hates his brother is a murderer. Man, he's running that reference right back to the city, city of refuge. One of those questions they were to ask that gentleman that, that did the killing. Accident. Have you ever hated that man? No. Okay. Have you ever hated that man? Well, yeah, he, oh, okay. Now you got trouble. Now you got doubt. And he shall dwell in that city. No other city. Until he stand before the congregation for judgment. Here is where you would get a jury, a courtroom. And it will be tried out before Jewish people. 
It would be witnesses. It would be uh, investigation. It would be the evidences. Just as you would have in a courtroom. And unto the death of the high priest that shall be in those days. Now that's interesting. So he would have no way of knowing ever when he was going to get out of that city. Couldn't say five years, couldn't say ten years, he couldn't say ten minutes. He had to stay in that city to the death of the high priest. Then shall the slayer return and come unto his own city and unto his own house, unto the city from whence he fled. So that the death of that high priest, that guy can go. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't even know if he was going to bring his family. I don't know if they were to call his family and say, listen, your husband's over here. Your wife is over here. In one of the cities of refuge, something happened. I don't know. There's never ever mentioned bringing the family. Just that person. But once the death of the high priest, he can go back to his house. And they appointed Kadesh in Galilee in Mount Nephetai. That's Nephetali. That's in his land. And Kadesh means sanctuary. And Shechem in Mount Ephraim. Now that's Manasseh. I know it says Ephraim, but that's Manasseh's territory. And Shechem means shoulder. I don't know. I thought these names would have meaning, but. And Kirch of Arbor, which is Hebron, in, Mount, in the mountain of Judah. So this is in Judah. Kirch of Arbor is a city of Arba, which means Arba means four. Hebron means alliance. And on the other side of Jordan, this is where they weren't supposed to be. Three on this side, the proper side, and three on the other side. By Jordan, I mean Jericho, eastward, they assigned Bezer. And Bezer means multiple meanings, has multiple names, but the one I could find was gold. That they all basically... Uh, took in for each other in the wilderness upon the plain out of the tribe of Reuben so that that one's out of Reuben we've got in the plains we got in the mountains I, I don't know about you would run up to a mountain that's a hike and Ramoth and Gilead out of the tribe of Gad so here's Gad Ramoth is high means high And Golan, Golan means circle, round, in Basha, out of the tribe of Manasseh. Now there's the other, now we already have a Manasseh, Shechem. Remember, half the tribe of Manasseh is on one side, and the other half is on the other side. Now why we have Naphtali, Manasseh, Manasseh, Judah, Reuben, and Gad, why these three tribes of the, of the twelve, I don't know. But when you lay out these cities of refuge, they're like one's in the north, one's in the central, and one's in the south. These were the cities appointed for all the children of Israel, all the Jews, and for the stranger, the Gentiles. So the Gentiles were given, if he kills somebody in the land of Israel, whether it be Jew or another Gentile, Run to that city refuge. Hey, listen, I'm a Gentile. I'm a dead dog. Uh, this is what happened. And there'll be a court case. And we found, listen, it was accidental. Come into the city and live in the city to the death of the high priest. This would be a stranger that is given into the law of Israel. He's given to the commandments of Jehovah. That sojourneth among them. And whosoever kills any persons at unawares might flee thither and not die by the hand of the avenger of blood until he stood before the congregation. So this running to that city doesn't mean, okay, here's a free pass, get out of hell. No, he runs to that city and then there's an investigation. 
and then there's a trial. And that man is found completely accidental killing, okay, you stay. But if he's found guilty of murder, well, they're going to take him out and stone him. And that Avenger of Blood is going to be the first one to lay their hands on him. 